Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today your new video about Final Fantasy XIV. As you can see on the bottom left, we will uh, talk about the new uh, expansion, Dawn Trail, and about one news in particular. Um, one big news, I guess. This is about new multiple jobs. Or multiple new jobs, if I really read the thing. Uh, I wanted to give my thought about the new jobs. Uh, we have two new jobs. If you don't know already, we will get a new caster DPS and a new melee DPS. And everyone on the internet, on the stream, and stuff like that were giving thought about it, thought about what it may be, um, what link does it have with Yoshi Pit t shirt. So if you don't know, um, during the stream, we had Yoshi P wearing this shirt. Oh, that's directly from the stream, so I'll do that. We have TMN and T uh, t shirt. So the Ninja Turtle, I don't know the English name. I think that should be Ninja Turtle, I guess. And uh, there is a clue. On this t-shirt about one of the two jobs or maybe both we don't know yet and also um, E5 and also then we have the trailer where uh, out of many things present on the trailer we have the wire of light of the trailer in a world outfit and uh, with a world weapon as you will see it here he has this little cloak thing he's on some hat here uh, with him we'll see more in a second so you can see him cloaked smiling and we don't see much actually here for that but then later but later we see that scene where he's uncloaking himself, seeing his face, his new eye definition face, and then the trailer move out. But what is, what is interesting here, if I pause at the right time, you can see this actually reminds of Corsair and Pirate, or things like that, uh, which is a fair guess, I guess. My problem with the guess about why our flight job is that we never had a new job added in the trailer uh, for the way of flight. Usually it is on other characters. Uh, I didn't analyze yet other characters. We don't see much actually because it is a teaser trailer. The full trailer will be revealed at a later date. Uh, we are missing like two minutes of trailer uh, where we see more details usually about what's happening in the extension. So that's interesting. And you can see that he's holding on his weapon probably. Or maybe that's weapon, maybe that's like a map or something. So that's good to, uh, to notice and to say. So he's clocked with some kind of pirate or corsair outfit. That's what people say. Um, what else is interesting on the trailer about new job is that particular scene where we are on the throne of Troll. Um, of Troll. I will never pronounce it greatly. So this is a golden throne. Uh, and the throne on where Wire of Light is fighting against um, the new possible threat. And it is the same outfit. He is getting burned, as you can see, and the clock is um, burning. And people are guessing that the, the, other, uh, the other end of this scene is the clock going off and we see the reveal of the job. Which is again a fair guess. What is interesting on this uh, image, on this frame, 
is a weapon. This is a 100, 100 sword, really resembling a rapier, but not really at the same time. Uh, and he has some shining things on the left hand. My guess, if we focus on on saying that it is possibly a job we already have, then it is Paladin. So that's a 100 sword and a shield. The problem is that Iron Walker has a, had a Paladin already, so I guess they won't keep that, and that's probably the new job. Um, so the, the um, biggest guess people made, uh, or assumption, is that it is a Corsair, that's the name they gave him, uh, with a one sword on the right hand and a pistol on the left hand. So I went a bit further with that. So if we go back to the Final Fantasy uh, history, of jobs and stuff like that. That's uh, Final Fantasy Wiki, it's on the screen. Um, what is worth noticing is that um, uh, the Corsair is a job that was featured in Final Fantasy XI already. It was using a gun, it seems, as a, uh, as a primary weapon. So this kind of gun. Um, it is possible that we have that. Uh, I mean, there, there is no... Uh, yeah, that's right in here. They had an hexagon. That's still possible. We have the Corsair. And the guess is more uh, prominent that the enemy um, we saw on the trailer... So that enemy here... So that guy... He is an enemy that was already in Final Fantasy XI, actually. It comes from Final, Final, Final Fantasy XI. So that's really interesting to notice, I guess, to say that, yeah, we've got Final Fantasy XI stuff, so why not a job from Final Fantasy XI? Um, but it is a distance DPS in Final Fantasy XI, uh, seemingly. And not much of a TPS because it is said um, I didn't play eleven by the way, so I, I'm just relying of what is written here. So we have a lot of abilities, but the Corsair are a support job in eleven, not used primarily primarily for dealing damage, taking damage, or healing. While this is true, Corsair do have a good damage potential using range attack. The true power of a Corsair has to do with their ability to bolster their party members around them. Though their status effects are variable, on average they provide the best bonuses available in the game. That's... I mean, they won't copy the Corsair from Final Fantasy XI, but when they make a job, a new job to Final Fantasy XIV, they um, usually check back what was done on previous Final Fantasy so that the players from this previous Final Fantasy can have an appeal for, for that job and have in mind that, yeah, I remember that ability, I remember such things from previous games. That's why we have a lot of references or, to other games um, in 14. So they... Uh, that's not. Mu I have not much else to say about the Corsair, but if that's not a Corsair but a pirate, pirate, uh, I went to check further because that people said Corsair at first world, but there are different words to describe that job. So I said, why not a Sky Pirate? Sky Pirate was seen in Final Fantasy XII, obviously. Uh, this was a big focus of the game and the tax tactics games. Uh, that's worth noticing that a lot of references in 14 are from tactics, uh, not directly for the main lore, but like uh, everything that happened in Ivalice series is from tactics, uh, tactics as well as 12. So that's why it is possible that they go back to that. But again, a, a Sky Pirate job is seen as a job with a gun and no sword, usually. Uh, What else I want to check is if there are other worlds 
than Corsair to be used. And there is Buccaneer, so I check that page, because why not? So Buccaneer was a job on Final Fantasy, so the first Final Fantasy game, uh, and in Japanese, the translation of the Japanese uh, word for Buccaneer is Pirate. So <laughs> that's going really far for, for things. But a reference to Final Fantasy 1 would be really nice for this job, so why not? And what is interesting to see is that the Buccaneer, on this case, has a sword. Um, yeah, he, he drops what they call a, sa a saber, which is a one-handed sword for Final Fantasy 1. So why not? We don't have a saber class, a saber job, um, because Final Fantasy 14 is working with class of weapon to change off your job. Um, we have already one hundred one hundred sword, sorry. And we have rapier, so the next we have katana as well. So the next would be the saber. So if I go to that direction for the wire of like Luke and say it's a corsair, I would rather say it's a pirate or a buccaneer in in regards of previous Final Fantasy. Uh, and this, um, and yeah, the buccaneer appeared only on Final Fantasy One. At least uh, as much uh, uh, as far as goes the wiki, and we had a pirate as well on Final Fantasy One, which was um, one hundred sword, I guess. So why not? That's a fair guess. I mean, I'm not an expert, but um, why not? But let's go back to other things. Uh, every link will be in the description. I know I just caused the things, but uh, we had multiple jobs actually with the reveal and the keynote. Sorry. Um, if the Corsair or Buccaneer or Pirate is uh, melee DPS, which is most likely, we still have a magical DPS. And I don't see any Pirate references in that t-shirt at all. We have Ninja, maybe, to say the sieve, only because it is a sieve, uh, a pirate is a sieve, something like that. Um, a guess, the, mo the most popular guess right now for TMNT t-shirt was that uh, um, that was an Aiden references to the name of the turtles like donatello um, i don't have the name of them uh, ninja turtle so leonardo michelangelo donatello and rafael which are famous uh, painter names basically and so the idea of people is that because this is a painter um, it gives a, the painter names, we might have one job that I didn't think I would ever hear about, which is um, Pictomancer. So I went to check Pictomancer references. I mean, why not? <laughs> That's fair. Like, you, you, you want to, to check things um, related to it. So in uh, Final Fantasy VI, we had a Realm Aroni, which was a Pictomancer. Uh, it's written here. I didn't play Final Fantasy VI, my bad. Uh, one day I will do. I need to play every of them. Each of them, sorry. Um, so Realm is a Pictomancer whose primarily uh, role is casting magic has a very high magic stat and access to female exclusive equipment make her a powerful ma mage. Her sketch ability allows her to replicate the attack of an enemy and she can turn it into control with the fake moustache relic. A realm sketch command is also associated with many glitches in the original SNES game. Um, realm has a good speed but her physical stats are generally low because it is a mage. So that's interesting um, uh, to know, and also it is present in Final Fantasy XIV as a minion. So why not? I mean, if we can get Realm, why not? Uh, what we can check um, 
I just saw that my problem with Pictomancer is if that's copied on that job, actually, and so from Final, previous Final Fantasy, uh, we have the ability to replicate attack of an enemy. And I'm sorry to say, but we have that as a, as a blue mage. So why would we get a Pictomancer which does the same? That, that, that's my question. Um, Pictomancer is not referenced elsewhere on their wiki um, uh, as a job, apart from Realm, from Final Fantasy VI, which already had a blue mage, by the way. But, uh, yeah. but if that's a Pictomancer and it steals um, abilities from enemies, and we go to the new world, maybe that, that, that there is a link, you know? Um, because Blue Mage, which copies uh, the abilities of enemies as well, come from the new world and from Tural in the lore of Final Fantasy XIV. So why not pick the monster? But, um, you know, uh, I wouldn't make that video only to give what people say. So I... I was watching a stream, you know, a French stream actually, about Final Fantasy XIV from someone that doesn't play much the game. But on the chat, they were talking about the T-shirt, and someone said, "TMNT could mean Time Mage next time," and that, that's all there is to it. Time Mage next time, and I honestly want to to tell you that Time Mage, after having Vieras in the game, because I wanted Vieras in the game long time ago, and I have them since Shadowbringer. The next thing I wanted is a Time Mage. See what they can do with the Time Mage. Um, actually, I'm a role player on the on the NA data center, and uh, I'm role playing a character that is a Time Mage. Uh, that's how far I want that. So I want to believe that theory. That will be the one I will go for. Uh, so TMNT means Time Mage next time. And Time Mage was referenced in Final Fantasy V, 12, 12 Revenant Wings, Tactics, Type 0, Dimension, Dissidia, uh, Final Fantasy X was, uh, had an allusion about it. And Final Fantasy XIV, actually, if you didn't do the LD Brand series yet, you should, actually. But uh, when you encounter Vivi, which is a little minion, um, in the Hildebrand quest in Ishgard, uh, which has a big story behind him, with the look of um, Vivi from Final Fantasy IX and from other match of Final Fantasy. He is a Time Mage. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but uh, we already have Time Mage in the game. We already have references to them. And if you follow the story of the Red series of Alexander, which is as well from um, uh, Evans World, well, Alexander is technically a big time mage that got stuck, um, that got um, not stuck, but he, he was, uh, he went dormant, if I'm not making any mistake, um, he went dormant after trying to calculate uh, how to perfect the timeline by doing time magic. That's very far and very deep. And I think if we already have the material of Time Mage, and there is a possible, like, a little hint that the TMNT might mean Time Mage next time, why not? <laughs> I mean, I want that. I want to believe in Time Mage coming um, to the game. Uh, so Time Mage, it is also... Uh, so it's translated Time Sorcerer in Japanese. Uh, other names are Dimensional Mage, there is also Chronomancer, which comes from other games. Um, it is, you can believe that Time Mage should be a uh, healer, but it actually is a buffer and doing damage with different abilities. Um, so I, uh, I want to show some screens first. So he has this weapon in one Final Fantasy which would like the Astromancer weapon. By the way, Astromancer and Geomancer are both um, specialties of Time Mage, technically, as they are um, both trying to check the future or check the past. Uh, Geomancer goes from 
um, um, checking the earth, the wind, um, the water to know what will happen in the future. Um, astromancer to check the stars, to check um, the movement of dragons in Invent's world. So there are a lot of time related uh, notions in Final Fantasy XIV that makes me believe that even if that's not the most popular opinion of people and they want the Pictomancer maybe, I want to believe that finally we get a time image. Uh, I think that's also a bit of a big challenge to tell a team of developers to say, okay, we are making a time mage, a time-related mage, someone that will have abilities related to the time. Imagine if your time mage can push above on any of the DPS to accelerate your global GCD, global GCD, yeah, GCD, that would be interesting. I mean, or slowing down enemies. We don't have a slowdown on enemies. We have some abilities putting um, debuff on enemies, but not that much in reality. Uh, if you check, we have some dots, which are not debuff technically, they are dots, so they deal damage on overtake, but, but we don't have that much uh, debuff, apart if you play Blue Mage, actually. So why not? I, I really want to believe that Time Mage is a thing, uh, in Final Fantasy XII, it is referenced as a time battle mage. And I want to think that if they include time mage in the game, so it will come from um, FF12 or Tactics, which are from Ivalice series. Um, and if you check the time battle mage, uh, it can... Um, have as equipment crossbows, sword. So I'm sorry, but on the trailer, he has a sword. <laughs> Why not? Um, but what is most important for people to believe that, uh, for me to believe that, is that among the, um, the abilities given to him in 12, we only have one white magic. So it's not that a healer. Um, I'm sorry, but Red Mage have a heal. Um, summoners uh, have a heal. I don't know if they removed it, but uh, they had a heal at least, and a raise, red magia as well, so it can be possible that the new magical DPS, whatever it is, can have a cure and a raise ability. Uh, what else? It has some debuff, like um, adding some slow, immobilize to make the, the enemy not move. We have reflect and disable. Um, gravity, gravity is a big damage attack which astromancer has uh, astrologian has um what else we have flood we there are some abilities that we can't have to be honest but there are things like, there is green magic as well green ma green magician would be interesting and i'm sorry but um the ninja turtle are green <laughs> that's another guess uh time mage does green magic and uh, green magician is a DPS as well. It's not that much of a healer. Um, but yeah, I want to believe that Time Mage can be the magical um, job for the next um, for the next magical job. Uh, I'm just searching for something. So here we have um, all the abilities from Tactics. Uh, like gravity is a time magic uh, attack that deal damage, and graviga is the same but uh, on uh, major area. Uh, this DPS as well um, give buff to allies and debuff to enemies, and also as a big cast you have the meteor, which which is re referenced as a comet in other Final Fantasy, uh, but that's a big stone falling down. <laughs> But I really want to believe that. I don't mean that um, I'm biased for time mage, even if I am. But um, I don't see what else they want to do or what else they can do. That would be a job that is adding something to the game, a job that is unique, a job that they never did, a job that is 
quite surprising because I'm sorry but um that might be only my opinion but Dancer was surprising Sage was quite surprising on the how it works even if that's still a healer so yeah I'm just like why not um I will strongly believe that it is a time mage or if not it a time mage a green mage which would be also very great a green mage is just a buffer so I, I see a green mage more like a healer class even if that's not really healing so I don't know but a time mage would be great I want that and that's all for this video to be honest uh, I rumbled enough so on, on one hand for the melee DPS I believe that's not a corsair but a buccaneer or pirate and for the magical DPS that would be a time mage that's my personal suit about it um, there are many references to it so why not uh, as well as pirate, pirate I mean Limsa Luminsa is full of pirate uh, the Otar C, uh, the Ruby C, sorry is full of pirates as well so why not uh, more pi pirates on the west between us and the new world and so we have to use pirates ship to get to the new, new world why not that's my guess. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching until the end if you did. Put a like if you did like, dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.